Teddy. Look, he's coming to try and sneak a look at Blossom. That's what he's doing. He just wants to see her because he hasn't accepted her as his child. He moved away and everything. But he's like, I think he's just come to try to get a glimpse of her. Here we are on episode 18, I'm pretty sure, of Crybaby Whims. So we have got Willow. She is working on her Crybaby Whims. Uh, sorry, she's working on her university homework. Ashton is also working on a presentation. It is Monday at 8 a.m. So I did do a little bit of work. Maybe put that in your inventory. Don't just put it on the ground. I believe that we've actually submitted a term paper for Willow. Let's see here. Yeah, because she's currently on academic probation. She has to give a presentation, take a final exam, submit a term paper. I did do the term paper with her over the weekend so that we could be, oh no, why is she so sad? for the blossom being around oh no that's so sad she did a term paper she did her homework for this class she did her homework for this class i think she has to do one more set of homework but that class isn't until tomorrow she also completed her presentation so i actually think we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of this moment for her to go and give her presentation Rhiannon's latest classroom assignment is a group project. Her group mates are all pretty smart. Should she try to contribute as much as they do or just let them do the work? I don't know Rhiannon very well, so I don't know what she would do. I feel like she would try to contribute to it. The project benefits from having everyone's input. It's a standout success and the teacher gives Rhiannon and her teammate equally high grades. Nice. So that helped, which is good. And Ashton also, wait, where's his university homework? Ashton also has classes and he's been working on a presentation. Other than the presentation, he has two exams and apparently he doesn't want to do his homework. He needs to do homework. I think his classes don't start until tomorrow, but he, we should get a head start on his homework, I believe. Now, I believe Willow's class is in five hours, so she does have time. I'm going to let her finish this radio, but she does have time to go give this presentation, which I think I'll do right away. So we don't forget because I'm likely to forget. Blossom is grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside. It's a note shaped like a heart with the words you are cute written on it and nothing else. She thinks it might be the new boy who always seems to stare. Does she ask him or wait and see? Well, OK, so Blossom's storyline is she ends up not being overly romantic. So I think maybe she would wait and see. Blossom decides to wait it out and see if anyone comes forward. Sure enough, at lunch, some friends laugh and wave at her. Hey, cutie, one taunts. Blossom wads up the no and tosses at them, laughing along with the joke. Someday it'll happen for her real, but she's relieved it's not today. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad we decided that option because otherwise that could have been pretty embarrassing. But poor little Blossom. And she's so young. It would have been hard. That level of embarrassment, I think. All right. Ashton, for whatever reason, he does not have his homework. So I'm wondering if I should just purchase him some homework, purchase book, university textbook. Wait, maybe not that homework book. Yeah, we'll get him one of these because I have no idea where his homework is. There we go. Oh my gosh, our bills are 16,000. Oh, that's so much. I guess we live in a giant penthouse, so, but that's a lot. Oh, Willow's got to get to her class. Why is she coming to be? Why is she coming to insult Ashton? No, you're... Your dearest son who has done everything for you. Why is she, is she like, you're not raising these children right? These are your kids, Willow. These are all your babies. Ashton does his best to help out, but he is also your son. It is not his job to take care of his siblings. Why is she coming and insulting him about babies? Oh my gosh, Willow. Okay, so she's definitely got a lot of issues going on because of her fear of unfulfilled dreams. Willow is a bit occupied. No, go go to class. Stop yelling at Ashton. He's literally doing nothing. He's trying to eat an English muffin or something. Okay, so we've got the kids home from school. Some of them are looking a little bit like they need some lotion or something. Oh my gosh, look at this. Courtney is over here making dinner for everyone because mom went to class. Man, these kids are so good. Like all of them. I mean, I always go on about Ashton because I love him. But really, all these kids are honestly the best kids in the world. Oh, she just, never mind. She just, she made salad for her sister. She didn't make it for any, anyone else. Why don't you make dinner for everyone? How about that? Let's try that. 
Whoa, she must have good cooking skills. She can make a lot of stuff. Make some veggie sliders. That sounds delish. Oh, right. So he has to be on the esports team for one of his scholarships. I forgot about that. I did give all the kids, except for Rhiannon, I gave all the kids some new outfits and some slightly different hair, some of them. So you'll notice that they might be looking a little bit different. Not too different, but I did make sure that they had some slightly new looks. Just you know, because they had been in the same clothes for a little while. So I thought it would be nice. Oh my gosh, it's school picture day. Cadence is going through a phase. Willow turned in her homework. Rhiannon did handiness. Wait, school picture day. Today was picture day. Hopefully Rhiannon remembered. If not, well, hopefully she didn't forget to smile. Wait, wait, I want to see her school picture. <laughs> Maybe she'll come home with it tomorrow. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Now I just, he needs to go to his practice. So I'll make sure that he does that. Oh, she's already doing her homework. That's really good. I think we're also going to make sure, I don't know if Blossom would be super schooly, like super into school. So what I did want to do was I wanted her to maybe start doing a little bit of planting. We do have a few seed packets that have been kind of lying around and maybe they were gifted to her for her birthday because nobody really, there's so many kids, nobody really took the time to get to know Blossom and wasn't really sure what she would want. So they all just kind of gave her seeds because her birthday's in the spring and they thought it could be a nice hobby for her or something like that. I don't know. I'm trying to make the story make sense. <laughs> That's the best I can come up with right now. But it turns out, as it will turn out, Blossom does really like gardening. Maybe this is what kind of gets her into it. Or it could also be that she just saw all these seeds lying around the house and she asked her mom if she could, you know, there's planters outside. She asked her mom if she could, you know, try planting some of the seeds. Maybe it's more like that. I don't know. So we've got a couple planters out here. Let's see. What can we plant? Maybe we should do a flower, some flowers and some herbs. That's not an herb. All right. I'm going to have her. Oh, she can't plant. She doesn't have enough mental skill. OK, so we need to build up our mental skill. OK, I didn't know that. Let's do some math problems. Why is Ashton feeling so tense? Oh, everyone has this fear of unfulfilled dreams. I really, really hate it. I hate the fears. I wish I could turn them off. It's not an option to turn them off, surprisingly. So maybe I'll need to find a mod that can do that for me. Getting outside often is a requirement for these Sims, but the emotional reward is worth it. OK, so we have. What they're saying is Blossom needs to play outside more. I hear, I hear you, game. I hear what you're trying to tell me. Why is Mabel up? What was that noise from Fear of the Dark? Okay, well, you know, we might be able to actually get rid of her Fear of the Dark if we brush her teeth enough, I think, and go outside. I think that gets rid of it. Yeah, let's do that. And then I think we can get rid of her Fear of the Dark. Basically, I think they have to be confident. Why is the TV on? Maybe Ashen just fell asleep watching TV. Okay, I think she needs to brush her teeth a little bit more. I think confidence needs to be like the main emotion. Can we do something in the mirror maybe? Facial cleanser, conceal acne. Does psych self up? Yes, boost a Sims, confidence. Okay, let's do that then. We'll try that and we'll see if it works. Oh, we made the sink dirty from brushing our teeth so much. All right, Mabel, let's get you feeling good about yourself. What else can we do that would make her confident? I, she's just feeling a little bit too energized. Oh, okay, this is good. This is good. Let's, oh, it might not be dark enough anymore. Is the sun coming up? I don't know. I think, I think it might still be okay. Let's try. Yeah. Just come enjoy the night vibes. Are you still scared of the dark? No, she's still scared. I don't think it's dark enough out here. I think the sun is coming up. Blossom is our heir. So let's make sure that we pay a little bit of attention to her. Do we have a chess? I think I put a chess table somewhere. I decorated the upstairs a little bit. Yeah, there's a chess table here. Maybe we can play a little bit of chess if we need to get her mental skill up so that she's actually able to garden. Then I'll make sure that we do that. Okay. And then for you, do you have any classes that we need to do homework for today? No, she's okay, but we can still do some homework if I can find it. Does anyone know? Oh, here it is. There we go. All right. And then Ashton, you need to get up soon. Also, you need to repair your sink. And I need to make sure that I take care of the teen's acne. I forgot that that's a thing now. And there's a glitch in the game where if they age up with their acne, they're stuck with acne for life. And apparently it's a common glitch. A lot of people get it and don't realize. And I don't really want my poor Sims to be cursed with acne for life. So I'm going to try and make sure that I take care of their skin. 
because that would be sad. I mean, you still get acne as an adult. I definitely do. I have a big pimple right here, actually, (laughs) right now. But to not have the option to get rid of it at all, I don't want them to have to deal with that. So I'll make sure that they they wash their face. Sure, you can like mischief. Fine with me. You're going to like wash your face and stuff. That's great. Oh, it makes your responsibility go up. That's good. I didn't realize that. You can come maybe grab something to eat and then you can go play your chess, which is what we wanted you to do all along. I really need to take this phone out of her hand. I keep forgetting. (laughs) Every time I go into cast to give everyone makeovers, I'm like, I'm not going to forget this time. And then I always do forget. Why do they go to other sinks to wash their hands? It's so annoying. Murder in the cellars from telling an urban legend. Mabel just told another teen the rather gruesome tale of the origins of nectar. As with all tales of murder and intrigue, Mabel got the pleasure of seeing the other sim looking slightly uneasy. Definitely a win for Mabel. A little weird, but good for you. I'm glad I made you happy. Wait, how many servings? 11. Do we now, when we serve, is it more than eight servings now? Why are there 11 servings of French toast? She made 12 servings. Is that is that a new game feature? I haven't seen that before. Oh, what's she going to do here? Argue about music. Why are my kids being mean to each other? Look at Ashton. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. I Oh, you need to go to school too. Oh, she didn't get a chance to get her breakfast. Whoopsies, that's okay. She can eat at school. Not a problem. Let's give him his presentation. First, we'll do his homework. So he had a class, I think. He has a class coming up interpreting the artist. So let's make sure he gets his homework done for that. And then scavenge for parts. We're going to have to find Willow's homework. Willow does not like to keep homework in her inventory. She just tends to throw it on the ground. There it is. I'll get rid of that. And let's see, what do you need to do? Homework complete, complete, complete. Oh, she doesn't need to do anything. Okay, cool. Right. We were working, I believe, on her charisma a little bit. Maybe you can come use the toilet and then come practice. Is that her French toast? Because she doesn't seem to have really finished her food. So I will make sure that she eats that. I really like this planter. It's so calming to look at. I want to find one like that in real life. Look at these two. Oh, sorry. That was a little aggressive. Look at these two, though. They're so cute. They're going to class together, going to university, going to campus. I wonder how Ashton feels about that. I did make sure to, since we're using a different attractiveness system, I made sure to kind of like make sure all the kids were consistent with what I had checked before. So Mabel is attracted to women. I believe the other kids are either bi or straight. I think they were all straight before, but some of them ended up being bi when I set them up with this attractiveness system and I I just left it. So yeah, but I'm curious to see if any of them, I do think we should maybe hang out with our friends a little bit more because I am curious to see if Ashton is interested in like anyone. And now to find out if he likes someone, he has to get to know them. So we actually do have to hang out to be able to figure that stuff out. So we are almost done this homework class in four hours. So we should have time. We should have just enough time to go do this presentation. Oh, Hugo. Hugo's asking about Gemma's charm. We should say yes. Go for it because we are a supportive friend. I'm hankering to tinker with something. You want to come fiddle with a rocket ship at GeekCon? Mm, No, I don't think so. We probably should have Lauren over, though, because we like never hang out with our friend anymore. Oh, he's chatting with Sydney at university. That's kind of cool. I like how they can chat while they're on campus. That's neat. Willow is back. Let's come upstairs. Why don't you come sit here and let's make sure we get our homework done for the next time we have these two classes. Ashton is home as well. Cool. How did your class go? Did you have a good one? Oh, no, he doesn't didn't have a yeah, he's class in 21 minutes. OK, hopefully he goes to that. <laughs> All right, Ashton is off to school. I'm going to actually make sure that he like actively listens. Willow, are you going to do your homework? Willow appears to be a bit broken. So I'm going to just reset her. Let's keep trying to do our homework. I think someone was coming to talk to her and it made her get a bit frozen. They never showed up, but we want her to do her homework. Okay, whose friend is this? Imran. This is one of the Sims I believe I gave a makeover to. So he's somebody's friend. Whose friend is he? Not yours. Is he yours? Oh yeah, they're friends. Let's go gossip. Okay, so you're friends with Liviana, which, okay, that's cool. I think she's actually friends with Ashton. Like, I think she's in Ashton's club, this girl. Aw, look at little Blossom. She's so cute. (laughs) 
I did give her another outfit. I kind of want her to change into one of her other outfits so you all can see. I gave her some new hairs as well. I feel like she's been wearing this one like every day. Look, look at this one with the little baubles in her hair. I thought it was super cute. Very preppy. I feel like this is an outfit that Willow would have really like helped her pick out and stuff. Let's have her do her math homework. Oh, why can't she do it? She has a school assignment. Wait, I missed. Blossom has returned home with a school project. Okay. What's her school assignment? <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Cadence is off to Adventure Club. Courtney has a big test coming up tomorrow. It'd be a good time to study. Courtney swiped an object. She swiped some dirty dishes. That's the silly thing to swipe. Blossom is turned with a school project. Rhiannon is back home from school. Cadence back home. Courtney's exam result average. Not bad, but not great. Courtney is not doing too shabby and is on track to graduate. However, if she wants to improve, she'll need to start studying for exams. Mabel is back from school. Blossom is back home from school. No need to remove the refrigerator. His work is satisfactory. Ashton put enough work to get a decent grade. You're off to adventure class. Ashton is off the class. Willow put enough work to get a decent grade. I don't know what Blossom's assignment is. Sometimes this happens and it doesn't tell you. I don't know what her assignment is, but she does have a class project. So maybe we can at least work on that a little bit. Her room is, I believe, too small. So maybe we can work on it here. Um, start working on it carefully. Oh, and Ashton needs to do his esports stuff. So he can go in person, but why doesn't he help her out with her project until he needs to leave? Hey, neighbor, want to hang out? I don't think so. You can go. <laughs> Bye. A little weird. I don't like how people can just walk into our house. And you're, you two are friends. So maybe you two should hang out. She's feeling inspired from seeing a chic sim. What a fashionable sim. I wish I could dress like them. Whoa, who's fashionable? Is it Liviana? You just spread a rumor about her. She could be a little bit jealous maybe of Liviana. That's why she spread that rumor. But I like how she's sitting on the bed. They're all hanging out. I just don't know why they're hanging out in Ashton's room. It's a little weird. But anyways, <laughs> wait, what are you? Was she going to bed? She's getting a call from Sydney. We've been thinking about trying for a baby. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. Why don't you come up here and use your own bathroom? And get your needs sorted a little bit. There, take a nice bubble bath or something. I think she might be stuck because he's here, maybe. <laughs> yeah, come up here. Let's try this again. Go to the bathroom and take a nice bubble bath. Everyone's like in a horrible mood. It's because they all have fears. Willow, can you make some dinner for everybody? Please serve some dinner. Let's make some chicken stir fry. What are you doing? Oh, she's focused. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I wonder what uh, skill she's getting from this. Oh, nice. It's her mental skill. Perfect. Can somebody else who would help her? Maybe Mabel would come and help her with her project because her brother left. Mom's busy making dinner. So I think maybe we'll get these two to work together on it because Mabel gets along. She might not be like the best at school, but I think she wouldn't want her sister to work on her project alone. So I think she'd She'd be able to offer a helping hand, but she'd be like, don't expect me to know what we're doing. I'll punch this clay for you, but that's about all that I can do. Oh, she's so cute. Auntie, look, he's coming to try and sneak a look at Blossom. That's what he's doing. He just wants to see her because he hasn't accepted her as his child. He moved away and everything. But he's like, I think he's just come to try to get a glimpse of her. He's like, I just am curious to know what's going on in her life. But he's like not coming over to say hi. He's not like making it known that he's here or anything. He's just kind of standing in the doorway and kind of pretending to look over. Trying not to be creepy. This would be very creepy if Blossom did didn't know who he was. He's like, who's this guy that's just coming and staring at me? <laughs> Andy, what are you doing? Oh, he is coming now. Oh, he just walked past her. Okay, this is a little weird. <laughs> Did you see how he just, hey neighbor, I'm bored. You're not our neighbor. Okay, go away. You're not our neighbor. Blossom finished her school assignment on time. Homework credit and school performance has possibly been affected. Cool. Okay, so that was her project. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad we got that done because I wasn't sure. Everyone's pretty tired. Nobody does their homework. Everyone just goes to bed. <laughs> I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? You can't force friendship, probably. I believe is what Willow would say. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that I gave her this. She has really cool boots with this outfit, but because we don't have shoes on inside, you can't see them. I wonder if she can plant now. Let's see, does she have enough mental skill yet? Oh, I'm gonna have her come outside and do that. Everyone else can come like grab their food and whatnot if they're hungry. Apparently no one's hungry. 
But I think Blossom is going to go outside and plant her flowers and do a little bit of gardening, which I think is so cute. So her Jen is very into gardening and is very into plants. She loves the outdoors, but living in an apartment, there's not really a lot of opportunity for her to get outside very easily. You know, they live high up. They live in the sky. They have a a lot of balconies and stuff, but they don't really have like a backyard. They don't have grass. So I think Blossom, you know, she's found some seeds lying around and there's planters outside. And she just kind of asked her mom, hey, you know, could I take these and could I try to plant something and see if I can get anything to grow? And her mom would say yes. And I think this is her little piece of outdoors because she loves the outdoors so much. This is her little bit of joy that she can find in nature in this high rise in the middle of the city that they're living in. And I think this is really where her love of gardening starts. I think we're going to love her a lot. I think she's going to be a very beloved generation for us. I think that's going to be a little bit how she gets into gardening. So this is the start of her gardening journey. Now that she's all done, I think we'll send her to sleep. So we're going to have to make sure probably to keep working on her logic skill because I believe to resurrect a Sam as she ends up doing I think she also needs some other skills. I believe logic might be one of them. So I think she's going to be pretty focused on her school. Her and Ashton. I feel like the kids in the middle, they don't really, they're not super academic. They're not super driven at school or anything. But I think for her and for Blossom, and I think maybe Ashton sticking around is good because I think he's going to have a little bit of that influence on her life. He's going to teach her how to stay focused, how to get her work done. Ashton might go on to have a very successful career and that's not necessarily in the cards for Blossom, but I think when she's young, I think doing well in school will be a bit of a priority. So we'll make sure to play that out for her. But I do think this is where we're going to end our episode for tonight. So thank you everyone for joining. I know it's a little bit of a grind right now. We're just kind of getting to know Blossom as she ages up as we're sort of slowly finishing off Willow's gen. So there's just a little bit left for us to do for her. I think really once we complete this aspiration, Willow's gen is technically done. So that's why for her, we do need to focus a bit on Ashton as well, because I think Ashton will be the child that reaches the top of a career for Willow. Blossom still got like, she's just begun as a child. So she's got a little bit of time, but yeah, that's where I will end the part tonight with this adorable shot of Blossom in her bed being so cute in her cute little room by her window. And of course, just outside the window, she, oh, I didn't put any plants in this one, but she will be able to watch her plants grow from her window as well, which I thought was really sweet when I put that planter there. So yeah, that's where I will end this part for tonight. So thank you everyone for joining. If you are on YouTube, please like the video if you are enjoying this series so far. And also don't forget to follow so you don't miss another episode. But I will say good night there. Oh, 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 oh